So McCune Albright syndrome, we got to understand that the underlying pathology is a GS activating mutation. You get excess cyclic AMP. That causes you to have this bone issue, what we used to call brown tumors of the bone, but you have this fibrous dysplasia, this ground glass appearance of the bone that is then going to be very prone to fracture. From an endocrine standpoint, a defining feature of McCune-Albright syndrome is precocious puberty as well as Cushing syndrome. And from a skin standpoint, you have this really big cafe au lait spot, what they call the coast of Maine cafe au lait spot. Speaking of cafe au lait spots, let's go ahead and integrate neurofibromatosis. In neurofibromatosis, you're going to have a correlate to the brain being seizures and meningiomas. Remember that the eyes in neurofibromatosis, you're going to have these uh, leash nodules, which are speckled portions of the iris. From an ear standpoint, especially with NF2, you're going to be thinking about acoustic neuromas. Watch for tinnitus hearing loss and vertigo in your test questions. And then finally, these cafe au lait spots, that's what got us into this integration. Remember that when you see cafe au lait spots, don't always knee jerk to neurofibromatosis. If they have precocious puberty and bone stuff, you're gonna be thinking about McCune Albright syndrome. Now, I always like to compare and contrast neurofibromatosis with tuberous sclerosis. In tuberous sclerosis, these patients have seizures, specifically infantile spasms. They're gonna be spasming a lot. And they can have cardiac abnormalities known as cardiac rhabdomyomas. Make sure you check out my high yield neurology review to go through the cardiac rhabdomyomas. Also, these patients are going to have kidney tumors known as renal angiomyolipomas. They're going to be filled with blood vessels, muscle, which is here, and then fat cells, angiomyolipomas. And then finally, the skin abnormalities are going to be these hypopigmented spots. That's different than cafe au lait spots. Hypopigmented spots, those are known as your ash leaf spots. 